In this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom movement with survival game kit. So I'm going to go to survival game kit, character mesh. I'm going to open the skeleton of both of their skeletons. Go here, mesh skeleton. So this is the survival game kit. Uh, I'm not going to change anything here. The retarget I'm going to use. Select human aid and then click on auto map. Save. Do the same thing for this. It's already selected. I'm going to auto map. Save. Now I'm going to save the project. So from the custom movement mesh skeleton, right? Right click and do retarget to another skeleton. And then your survival game kit uh, skeleton will show up. Um, retarget. It will retarget all the animations and then save. That's step one. Step two would be if you go to blueprint characters, then open survival game kit. Go to event graph. Okay. I'm gonna add it, add the custom movement component. Custom movement. Okay. Then I'm gonna to go to class settings and add api custom movement character interface okay now this should will give you three interfaces to work with so click on get custom movements then drag bb custom movement component and here okay second go to can enter entering custom movement so I'm going to do is right click here, create a variable and rename the variable to can enter custom movement. Make sure it's checked. So that's it pretty much. So I can close all the interfaces um, and go to event graph. Now I'm going to open the, the example character from custom movement. Here you go, this is the one. Okay, so I'm going to copy a couple of things from here to there. So what are you going to do? You copy the name of the of this macro. Go to SGK, and then where is macro? There you go, macro. Paste, and then I'm going to create one input, which is this. Execute to false this is exactly how it looks like pretty much just copy this macro into your sdk uh even into your sdk character so i'm going to copy this portion and paste it here connect this done this part is done now and copy the other part copy this hold control copy this copy control c to copy find this and then that is here And then copy the uh, the macro that you created. Duplicate. Connect this. If it's true, then it's going to go to add custom movement input right. Here, make sure the input axis is right. Move right goes to input right. Move forward goes to input. Wait. Move forward goes to input up. Yeah. Um, then the false goes to the character movement of HGK. Okay, like that. And make sure you has the float value to the right place. Okay. Compile and save. Next, I'm going to do the same thing, very similar, uh, but for jump. So I'm going to copy this and look for jump. 
Okay, your jump is here. So let's make some room here. Right. Drag is custom movement. You can you have to use it in many different places. So you wanna get used to it. I'm gonna paste that. Um I'm not gonna really spend a lot of time organizing it. You know, you can do that by yourself. I'm just gonna show you, you know, the basic integration. Um all right, so that part is done. What else we can do? Okay, let's copy this. This is the, the event object custom movement. Copy this. Hold control, copy this. Hold control. Select this. So it's going to select this and this and that. And then control C. And then go here and paste it over here. Bring them closer. Comment custom movement this is my way of organizing it i mean you can do it way better of course if you spend more time um all right so this is the basics what else we need let's see we're done with this part uh you can also add um this is cusp is custom movement check on many you might have to add that in more other places i don't know if you need it for turns um you might need it for in other places as well so as you test this you want to check in a different location okay now what else let's let's look at how the um, the animation blueprint looks like if you go here this is the animation blueprint for the custom movement i'm going to copy the in between this is these are the new ones sub animation instance and slot custom movement copy both of them and then go to SGK and in blueprint. Okay. And I'm going to go to the event. No, not even come animation graph. So this is how the SGK looks like. Way more complicated. So I'm going to go to the end of where the output post and just paste that in between here. And then just connect them like this. okay i think that should be it so we can close both of the animation blueprint save all the project project um let's see what else we can do all right let's give it a try now okay so we're going to create a scenario what's our phone here so let's put a cube here okay go to custom movement and go to blueprint go to zone let's try letter first drag it here so see the pointing see the arrow so the arrow has to be toward the wall okay so i'm gonna rotate this 180 degree and then put it in the wall like a little bit not all the way in make sure make sure it's sticking out all right and so this is a blueprint so you can increase the steps so if you go to the detail select the uh the blueprint zone letter and on the detail panel on detail window you see step count increase that until it reaches the top so and 15 14 14 yeah something like that now let's give it a try okay let's play there you go so we have this i uh, think the collision issue with the 
it goes all the way up there you go the way down it's going to turn and then it... all right let's fix the uh camera collision issue um you go to event graph in here you can add those like when the custom movement starts what do you want to do you want to probably like um to collision set collision and disable that um you can like you know i think you can do it locally as well or just do it here um and do the same thing for when it ends check this so that should fix that issue uh let's see let's another another example of zone uh, if we go to zone then put where's the other one let's look at how the other other one looks like i haven't created the other one so we can give it a try or you can also try over here as well as well if i go here and i go to wall map and choose the survival game kit and play there you go zoom in we don't have to create the scenario so we can try this jump there you go it works nice beautiful Okay, you can jump down as well and yeah and everything of the sgk works as a different because so we didn't change, change any of this feature um let me know if you have any question if you found it useful press the like button subscribe if you are new until next time goodbye